hello everyone welcome you all today i will show you a tool which can solve our problems like finding web locators so finding xpath finding id name or other relative xpath absolute xpath it's a time taking process of when we do it manually so why we are relying on other tools because to save our time so most of the tools like firepath firebug crowpath so these tools save us save our time a little bit in finding other elements and similarly the selector hub is also doing the same thing where it is providing us a option to find the locators with a less time so i will show you how can we install the selector hub into our browsers so it is applicable to a different browsers so it is applicable for ie chrome opera and uh, firefox too so in case if you wanted to install this into your chrome browser then we need to go to selector hub and uh, in the browser type the selector hub and i will share this link in the description section you can directly click from there and install this tool and once you are uh, finding this selector hub the first link is a selector hub so which is an extension once you click on this it will navigate to an extensions then we need to add this to an extension I click on add to chrome then it is showing us a dialog or alert asking us to add extension we click on add extension so once we add this extension it will store into the extensions uh, button so this is an extensions button so once we click on this extensions then you will see the selector hub so it is installed in my chrome browser so i will show you how can we enable this during our finding web elements so for this i will use the facebook page so once we are in facebook page i wanted to find a xpath for this facebook logo so what i will do i used to go to this facebook logo and right click on this logo so once i right click on this logo i will inspect it but this selector hub will provide a good feature that it will uh, show us before only so no need to again go to inspect and find the locators so as soon as we right click on this any of the locators it will show you selector hub then after it is showing copy relative xpath because i am doing the same thing in the inspect mode so i will copy let me paste it in a notepad yeah it is copying the id so it is copying some id but i cannot say its id because i know that it is showing id but it is missing something here so let's try one more time right click go to selector up copy related xpath again go to notepad yeah yeah this time it is copying all the relative xpath like image tag and attribute attribute value so let's try on the logo login button and I click and go to copy relative xpath yeah yeah it is showing all possible relative xpath so it is easy and uh, i mean it, it's take very less time so it is saving some of my time so which is very important in automation testing so why we are going for automation testing because to reduce the time of manual effort so this is doing the same thing so it is a very good tool to handle uh, for this kind of finding uh, locators and um, you, uh, about my personal experience on these tools so i mostly recommend to use all possible tools like firepath firebug crowpath selector hub and other tools too but some companies may not provide this provision to install third party extensions into their browsers so i recommend uh, you all to learn the generic way of finding the locators so in case if you are unable to uh, find in the generic way i will show the uh, complete tutorial so i will provide the link in the description section where i have explained all the locators and access methods how can we generate a dynamic xpaths how can we navigate within the dom structure so all this kind of information i have provided in that tutorial so i will share that link in the description section you do watch that generic way of finding and writing a dynamic xpaths and also learn from these tools too because this if the tool is av available in your organization then it is well and good you can utilize the tool so whatever it may be it may be firepath firebug crowpath crow 
and selector hub or selenium id because selenium id is also provides a good feature of finding these locators so use all these possible ways but don't forget to understand the dome structure it is important to understand the dome structure and in case if you have any difficulty in finding any of the locators do post a comment so i will share a solution for that and i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to this channel please do subscribe to my channel and do watch the tutorials like uh, selenium ide or selenium tutorials for beginners and intermediate level frameworks um, by subscribing to my channel thank you Thank <music> you.